Hi, I'm Amol Bhave. I was a student of Radiance from 2011 to 2012. Radiance was a very useful resource for me to prepare for several exams such as the JEE and KVPY. My grandfather, Mukun Bhave, passed away in January 2017. In his memory, we started a scholarship program for the top performer in JEE from Radiance. This is the third year of this program. I want to congratulate Arpit Tiwari for securing the top rank from Radiance and being the recipient of the award this year. Have a huge round of applause for him. I was admitted to MIT in Cambridge, United States in 2013. I graduated from MIT in 2017 with a Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering and Computer Science and Physics and a Master of Engineering in Computer Science. I want to give some advice for students seeking admission to foreign universities for undergraduate studies. There are usually two major components for the admission process. The first one is taking the appropriate admission exams, such as the SAT and TOEFL. These exams usually test language skills and require being fluent in English. The second component is admission essays, which highlight your extracurricular activities. These activities could be academic, such as research projects or Olympiads, or non-academics, such as music, arts, or sports. These essays are supposed to reflect your story, represent your genuine self, and are equally, if not more, um, as important as the exams. Education at foreign universities is usually very expensive. However, top universities offer scholarship programs and financial aid. For instance, MIT offered me full financial aid for my education. So if you're interested in applying for admissions and have any further questions, um, feel free to contact me. I want to congratulate all those who were selected this year in JE. And for the rest of the students who were not selected, do not lose heart. There are still several other opportunities open to you, some that may even turn out to be better than IITs. Finally, I wish all the students Best of luck for your future.